itching it where it's scratching it where it itches. Ha! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> howdy folks, this is the Freakers Ball. I am Grimner. It is Friday night, um, April 6, 2018. Yes, indeed. Freakers Ball for April 6, 2018. We are live right now, right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. That's right, for the show page for the video stream right now is on uh, channel one there on our real liberty media dot com we're also on the audio stream and many old places uh, out there and around the world uh that we may be reached at through the rlm radio dot xyz just the direct rlm stream feed you can catch us for now on freedoms network uh internet radio tune in uh, who knows all where but you're still Regardless of where you may be on the audio stream, you're best off going to the Freakers Ball show page on RealLibertyMedia.com. Yes, indeed. So uh, head on over there, and we'll be glad to have you here with us. Uh, as many people as want to come on over, come on over. Yeah, we got room for everybody here at the Freakers Ball. We're all inclusive. We don't exclude anybody from the Freakers Ball. So come on down, say hi, say howdy, make requests, be part of the chat. Ah, oh, it's a good old time right on over here. So anyway, we got we got some great folks here. We got we got the uh, barman and Mr. Cowboy Tech and myself and the Mighty Moose Girl, Miss Kate, as Modeus, uh is with us this evening. Uh, ben Z and Chalcedonian Circle and Chloe and Grams and Dawn C and Java Doctor and JJ is nine nine nine. I think some weird stuff out of Scotland there, JJ. What the, what the hell are you boys doing over there? And we got Juana Taco and Rain and the Fluke Bot, Mr. Rob Works himself. Trust No One, a.k.a. Roams. All roads lead to Dakota and Dima and Flash. Freaking Vinny's, who did a pretty good show earlier today. Uh, no, he did a great show earlier today. Did I mention Grams? Yes, she also did a great show earlier today. Then we got the Frumpy and the Goober and the Kozu and uh, Moe, Nenson Dubois. Uh, Pox, the Poxman, Pone Sauce, and a Phantom. Did I mention Wanna Taco? I'm sure I mentioned Wanna Taco. <laughs> Moose Girl will be here any second now. As soon as she dials on in, we'll be talking with the Mighty Moose Girl. The, there's, there she is now. Speak of, speak of the Devilette. Hello? 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 There you are. Hello? Yes, hello. <laughs> Here I am. There you are. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. It's going fine. Just everything. Good. Everything going good and fine. All that happy, happy stuff. I do have some some uh, updates I need to dish out to the folks. Right. Let's see if we have any. Well, if they don't hear it live, they'll hear it on the replay. Um Okay, well, let's start again, as we did last week, with Freedoms Network. All right. It ain't looking good, guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> if you're a Freedoms Network member and a fan of the site, yeah, it ain't looking good over there. It's um, the uh, the donations just are not coming in. Um, but oh, we, got, we got like two, two weeks left, so almost two weeks left there on that. Uh, so uh, whatever happens, happens with that. I, that's all I got to say about it. I've, I've done my, my duty, I've uh, paid an extra month, got them going so that people could send in donations, and if they don't want it, they don't want it, uh, and, and it, that's, uh, that's fine. Right, I, thought, I mean, I thought, maybe I thought they don't believe I thought it, through. I don't know, maybe they just think you're kidding, but, um, no, we can. <laughs> you, you know, it's so easy for people to be like, well, I want this service, but I don't want to pay for it, I don't want to help out, I just want to use it. Yeah, It's like, well, you know what? This is how it is with these kind of networks and these kind of uh, websites. You know, it's people. Yeah, you know, like you we, and we, I we, that you, aren't rich. Well, you look at the site. Money. We we got we got no advertising on there. We're not doing right. anything to take anybody's information or anything like that. We don't sell your data. We 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 don't mar right. we don't we we're just we, average people like you. You are. We, don't, we have no money. We work regular jobs or whatever. We we're struggling too. Yeah. So I but, mean, it, it's it's all know. it's set up for privacy and and sharing and no censorship and all that. So it's a great site. But if just yeah, if you people, don't appreciate if, that kind of a site, and you'd rather have a face. You know, your only choice is Facebook. Well, then don't donate. 
<laughs> right. You know, just go on to Facebook and let this one just die. Right, and, and that's fine. And um, in in uh, if that does happen, uh, I am working on what's called a forum. Are you familiar with forums? Yes. Okay, I am working on a forum for Real Liberty Media right now, um, where people you can do, you know, you can share information back and forth. It's not a whole social networking site and everything like right. uh, Freedom's right. Network is, but it's it's a cool thing. Uh, but we used to have we for did you try Graham when you first started LLM or shortly after you started it did you try like a a Facebook type a social media site Well, I, I was gonna do one, but it was too and much it of it didn't a, work out. Well, it was it was not enough people joined it. Well, no, it was just it was too much of a load for the server. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Never mind. Then. So I I, I, that's why I couldn't keep that going, and and I don't oh, okay. I really want to do it anyway. Um, I've, right. I've so you don't want to be the moderator. <laughs> So freaking Vinny is asking, how short is the FN fund? Well, we need three hundred and sixty dollars, and in a week and a year. week and a half of begging so far, ten dollars. Right. We got ten dollars <laughs> from one person. <laughs> and I spend my time mostly at RLM too. I mean, yeah. So anyway, I like Freedom Network, but I so I broadcast. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, it's it, like. It's just stupid, you know. But um, th that's all right. I, I, if people don't want to go there, that, that I, I, you know, I don't, I don't really have. Um, it's okay by me. I don't need to maintain that site anyway. If people don't, uh, you know, I don't mind maintaining it. I don't mind building it, adding features and fixing bugs and whatever. Right. But I'm not going to pay for it too. No, 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 because if you if you value, it's just like a magazine you subscribe to, anyway, or here, any, a, any site that you have to pay to subscribe to. There, how big, valuable is it to you? If, a, if it's not valuable to you, then you won't donate, and you won't give a fuck if it goes away. There you go. So, anyway, there, there's a yeah. link. There's a link right there to the uh, forum site that I'm building. Um, and, and so, you know, people can go and sign up with that. I, I, I started doing another one the other day, and then I, I realized I didn't really like that software. So um, I, I switched, and and um, <laughs> that's the one where you, I'm, 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 right. I'm going to be using now. It, it's a PHP BB forum and rather than a forum forum. Which... See, I don't use FN that much, and my other thing is I'm a freaking co-host co on this show. There you it go. Is broadcast on Freedoms Network, so my time is valuable. Absolutely. So I should not have to donate money. Okay. And Grim should not have had to pay. That's all right. Out of yeah. his pocket, you know. For, you know, to keep it going for one more month. And it was only thirty dollars, but that's thirty dollars. Ten dollar you know, makes you holla, yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. It, you know, it, come on, so, people. So anyway. Um, <laughs> If people want to go, they can sign up for the forum here. They can sign up on the Real Liberty Media uh, Minds or on Minds and, and hook up with us that way. Um, right. Because and, and, Minds is an awesome site as far as I've known so far. I mean, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, really and, and there's and there's there. a lot of there's a lot of people there's a lot of people on on the uh, the Minds site from from Freedoms Network and from RLM. So um, right. you know, we got Grammy there. You got Metal Pancakes. You got uh, Flash and Cirque and uh, you and me and uh, yeah. cow Cowboy Tech and uh, uh, all kinds Lots of folk, of all, all, all kinds of folk there. So, yeah. um, uh, so, so both of those are good. And and, and then, um, so that's it. That's all. That's all on that. The big story here for us, for you and I, mm -hmm. we've been doing the Freakers Ball video ver version of Freaker's Ball for, what, eight years now? Yeah, eight years at least, yep. And, and in that time, we've been on a, a site. It started off as Mogulus. It is now yeah. called Livestream. <laughs> Livestream, right? Right. Okay. Come June 13th. Oh, Jesus. Bye-bye, Livestream. Oh, no, what? Yep, yep. They, they, it, All right. That's the end for Livestream. So, uh -huh. um, we, if we can, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll try and find. It. We'll do our our damnedest to find a new, free, live video streaming site that we can broadcast the type of material 
we broadcast via the live stream feed right now. If not, if we can't find one, then we'll just do audio. That's all we can do, right? We'll do right. audio. I mean, Cirque so don't do minds. Really Cirque does no. minds. Cirque has a great mind. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, it's it's been a good, good, good long run there on 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 live stream free, you know, and yep. uh, yep. I, I tried. We gotta do it free because this is a free gig because we don't get paid to do this. Yeah, Our no, nobody wants nobody something. wants to pay for this. Nobody wants to pay right. for this. Right, our time is worth something. Besides that, and. <laughs> you know, the, the free is where it's at, man. Free, free is, is where it's at. So we'll yeah. we'll find. We'll hopefully, we'll find another good live live video streaming outlet that we can use. We can't use YouTube. Don't even suggest it because, well, they would knock us right off there for playing videos. <laughs> right. So that's why we've never used YouTube. They would kick I mean, our ass. Can't. They would kick our ass to the curb in, in no time flat. Right. And you can't broadcast unlimited time on there either. Oh yeah, sure you can. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I do Vinny's Vinny, Vinny show for two hours. They never had a problem with that. And I, I think I could go. Oh, via much... YouTube? Yeah, via YouTube. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. But he's, it's only three weeks well, now. It's only... I thought that they were, like, they had, like, he's, he's only they three... had a limit on the, the size of videos you could post, though, right? Oh, well, for beginners, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, once you get in there, then you can go as long as you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. But don't cut you off because you might go shoot up a fucking go go to their headquarters and fucking shoot some fuckers. Yeah, yeah, you never know. You never know what'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So anyway, that's the big sites uh, news okay. about the, the sites that we have here today that we have here right now. Um, it, it's like a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, here's the thing. We live on the internet. Or we do. Real Liberty we Media. Do. I do. All, I, all I these, do. all these sites. Yeah, this is all living on the internet. And one thing about the internet that you know, if you've used the internet before, is that stuff's going to change. Yes, it and, is. And to have yep. you know to be able to do what we do for so long in a particular place is great, but shit, shit changes over time. Uh, the dollar has only got 5% value. No, it's got less than that. Less than that, dude. It's fucking, like, zero. It's, like, minus fucking one or minus two. It's, it's, it's less than zero, actually. Yeah, and another thing, and, and, and if anybody wants to take him up on his offer, um, KD Troxel on the Fre Freedoms Network site says if anybody's got a uh, Litecoin wallet, he will donate money to them, or d donate Litecoins to them, and you could convert it and and pay it back to Freedoms Network in dollars. That would be cool. It's a, it's a to me it's a real pain in the ass to do that because yeah, it, and, and, it's and, not really worth the time. Well, but, I mean, you know, I don't know how much it can he was, be done. He was going to do it, but if you've got a Litecoin account and you got a Coinbase account, then then you're you're kind of set up to do that, but you have to go through all the steps to do it. So, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway. That all being said, howdy, folks. Let's let's howdy? play let's, let's play some music and we'll come back and talk let's about do that. something snazzier. Oh, we never run out of shit to talk about. Oh, no, well, okay, we, got, we we got it's all good. We we got plenty of shit. Yeah, we never run out of material. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All righty, here we go. Get, get, get your get your get your rod out. Bye, <laughs> and thank you so much for that. There, Sultans of Swing, uh, by Leo Moraccioli with Mary Spender sitting in. Yeah. Uh, Leo, man, he's cool, and uh, you got to love Mary, uh, too, on that. Uh, before that, we had J.D. Simo with the great Tommy Emanuel uh, doing uh, Otis, Otis's song, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Uh, I tell you, um, Tommy Emanuel, he's, he's, he's an inspiration. I, yeah. I, I've been uh, 
watching a few of he's doing this collaborations uh, okay. set or cool. collection collaborations collection and um, mm-hmm. watch, watching him sit there and play and have such a good time he, he's an inspiration makes me want to pick up my old guitar uh, anyway we kicked it off there with fish and uh, bouncing around the room so uh, good, good, good opening set I'd say yeah moose we lose ya. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Where'd you go, Miss Moose? I had to mute quick. I had to go <laughs> AFK. I had to go away from my keyboard. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> and for a second, for like three seconds. All right, all right. And so I, um, <laughs> I, uh, wasn't there. I couldn't respond immediately. All right, well, I, I picked up that hey. you weren't there. Or, hey, that, uh, or that you couldn't respond anyway. I, I wasn't really sure what the, uh, Total situation was, but <laughs> no, it, I had to. I I bought a good thing the other day, a good record. A good record. What'd you buy? And it's rare. I know it's rare, and I know it's gonna be worth money. And I mean, I think it's awesome. So uh, I'm gonna uh, show. I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's Jay Giles Band. Okay. Showtime. It's a historic live album. Entertaining, in, informative, and fun. And you know the thing that they put the record in, the little sleeve thing? Uh-huh. It's got, like, pictures of them and everything on there. This is apparently a live See, Now, when, when people talk about, when you look up on YouTube and you go, Grateful Dead Live, right? Right. You'll find some old school footage. But it's not good quality high, like we're used to, right, nowadays, right? So it's hard to find live recordings on an album, would you think? Well, I mean... Well, no, I, I, I mean, mean I, I, have, I have a lot of live, live albums, most but of them... But this thing is fucking... No, this thing is rare. This thing is worth fucking money. Uh, most, most, most of the live albums tend to be double albums. I paid, this one's not a double, but I paid $12 for it. Yeah. The songs are, let me know, oh, Love Stinks is on this song, on this album. That's uh, my favorite Jay Giles song, all is right, Love Stinks. All right, cool, way. cool. Okay, so anyway, this is side one, Just Can't Stop Me, Just Can't Wait, Walls Come Tumbling Down, Sanctuary, I'm Falling, Love Rap, R-A-P, Love Rap. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> love rap? Okay. All right. Uh, the side two, Love Stinks. Stoop Down number 39. <laughs> I Do. Centerfold. And Land of a Thousand Dances. I know two songs on this album that I can know by name of song, which is Love Stinks and Centerfold. But... This is a live album, and it says historic. This doesn't mean it is, but, I mean, this thing's rare, dude. I'm telling you, it is. It's a All right, fine. no, I, I, I believe you. Yeah, I, I it's mean, a fine. I, I, you know, I... Jay Giles I, Band Live. I, I, I don't I, know if it says what year it is. Let me see if we can see the year. On here. Where would it be? I, I, God I, dang, it's so fucking small. I can't fucking read it. You better break out the extra, extra large magnifier. I have to make my, my computers off. <laughs> There's no year on this album that I can see. Oh, uh, okay. There's no year. I'd have to look it up. But anyway, I thought that was good. I thought that was a fucking, you know, it's going to be worth something. Like, my kids might make some money off of it, my dad or something. Is it called Full House? No, it's called... Jay Giles Band Showtime. Showtime. Yep. It's got an orange it's an orange album cover. Like the the background of the album is orange. Like I'm huge into albums. Like people my kids. Alright, here, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Uh so I yeah, it's orange albums. with the speaker on the side there. Nineteen eighty two. Okay, nineteen eighty two. So it's not like it, it's it but it might be rare. It's not like an antique or anything. But it might be rare. Like, how many copies of this thing are there? You know what I'm saying? Right. It says they had two full, two earlier live albums. One was 
Live, Full House in 1972, and one called Blow Your Face Out in 1976. So this one's the newest, the, the first one. No, the newest, the newest of the three live albums. Oh, would you say 85? Oh, 80, yeah. Yeah, 82. Right. <laughs> yeah, 82, 82. Shit, I was fucking in high school then. I was fucking a sophomore or something. Freshman. In yeah. high school. But I remember when they came out, because when they made it to the top 40 or whatever, it was, and that's when MTV was first starting and everything, and they had that, that video for Centerfold. Yeah. Then they had that one for, um, the one, what was it called? Love Sinks. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Which was just them. Love Sinks was basically just uh, them see, playing, you know. See, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Rob Works found it there on Amazon uh, for sixteen ninety five, and Benoit found it on Amazon for five oh, bucks. Probably used. It's not, but you know what? It's still a good thing to have. No, no, it's great. It's great. Good to have I'm a good not vinyl. To make if money you, after that. I'm just trying to see, like, you know what? It's hey, music. It's Jay Giles Band Live. It's music that you know. like, then then it's good to have. That's all there is. Wait, to it. And how old is it? Eighty two. Yeah. Thirty five years old or something. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it's the album itself looks brand fucking new. Yeah, yeah, 1695. It's like it's never been played before. Seriously, yeah, I'm not kidding. Well. This thing looks like it's never been played. Yeah, if I like, had I it, just it, 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 land and bought it yesterday. If I had it, it so, never would have been played. Right. Well, I went to record land and I bought it yesterday. <laughs> That's how good the album looks. Like I took when you sometimes when you take these albums out of the covers and everything because you have to inspect them before you buy them. Yeah. You have to actually physically take them out. See, I have a process. I pull out, I look through them, I pull out the ones I want and set them aside, the ones I'm going to look at. Yeah. Then I, when I'm done looking, then I go through them and pull them, actually pull them. And this is a time-consuming process. I ha It has taken me three hours before to go through the albums that I wanted. Oh, sure. I spent all kinds of time in those, those used record stores. You have to look at the album itself. If it's all scratchy and nasty, obviously, it's not, you know what I mean? You don't want that. No. You know, I mean, but when I pull out an album and it looks like it's never been played, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's mine. That's you know the stuff. Mean? It's like, that's the real deal there. And it looks <laughs> brand fucking new. And the, 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 the album, the cover, the, the case that it's in is pristine. You're like, fuck yeah. You know? Yeah. So I have a good eye for this shit, man. I do. Okay, you know? well, cool. They have this really cool piece of furniture, too. It looks like a fucking um, table thing or something from the, the 60s. You pull it down, and it's a record album storage thing. I nice. swear I wanted that. I wanted to buy that. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like, it brought me back to the day when albums were popular. They used to make furniture to store your albums. You know sure. how when CDs came out, they made CDs... Or yeah, no, no, my my entertainment oh. center is set up for that. This thing's old school. It's like you pull it out. It's like a drawer, but when you pull it down, I, I it's understand. Full of albums in it, like I, full I, record. I, I get it. I get it. I understand. This is cool. <laughs> it is I cool. I'm like, I want this. <laughs> I might go get that if, if it's yeah. still there at that store, like next week. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, you know, back in my woodworking days, I I actually made a a, re a real nice uh, stereo record rack thing, like for record albums, like vinyl albums. Yeah, right? yeah, records, yeah, for records. Yeah, and so and, what, and the, the stack it? all my stereo of, components in. Yeah. What? what kind of wood? What kind of wood was it? Like did you oak. stain it and everything? Yeah, it was, it was oak. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's oak. real heavy. I, I still have it. Really? Yeah, it's it's over in like my how spare. How tall is it? How many shelves are like two shelves it, or something? No, it's um I don't know about five, four to five feet tall somewhere in there. Wow! And it's got a big. And you know, it must be really deep where you could actually hold the whole album, right? Well, yeah, it's deep enough for all the audio components. I can put my. Oh, oh you know, yeah. <laughs> back, that was back in the day. You had a you had an amplifier. Right. You had a yeah. tape tape yeah. deck. You had <laughs> uh, equalizer unit, and then and then you had your turntable. The turntable went up on top. And then the records all went down to the bottom section. And then there was another section in the middle for tapes. Sweet, yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Nice, yeah. <laughs> and this piece of furniture, though, 
It's seriously old school. It's from like the late sixties or whatever. Yeah. And it's meant to hold record albums, you know. And yeah. It's made for like people that were like grandparents that played those bought those fucking religious albums or Lawrence Welk or something. Like right. back in the day when this was made, it was for those kind of people. It wasn't for like hippies or anything. Like hippies would never own furniture. Hippies never owned furniture, you know? I mean, if, if hippies owned furniture, it was, like, given to them, or, you know, found on the street or something. You know what I mean? Well, I was it a hippie. Was, like, this piece Wait, of I furniture was, like, it brought me right back to, like, 1967. You know what I mean? I was just like, this is furniture from 1967. I'm like, what the what? This is awesome. I pull it down, there's, like, albums in there. I'm like, oh, this thing's mint. I'm like, I must own this. No, that's great. I'm weird like that. I'm freaky. You know what I mean? I don't well, know. Well, here you are. It's a perk of me. I mean, it's a perk of me. I don't know. Here you are on the freaker's ball, so freaky it's makes sense. Kid. Right. I am a freak I, in many ways. I mean, not just one way, which I think is stellar. I mean, I'd rather be a freak in many ways than just one way. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Sure. See, what sure. the fuck? That would be boring. Like, you know. Yeah, no. Uh, you can't be a freak. You might as well fucking be a fucking freak. You know. Yeah, if you can't be a freak, you might as well be a freak. Yeah, if, if you if you if you're gonna be a, if you are a freak, you might as well fucking be one. I mean, why <laughs> fucking you know try to pretend that you're not? Absolutely. You know, that's that's you know you'd be miserable. Oh, you would. You know, it's just like I live I live like on the seat of my fucking pants. Most of the time, that's how people are probably, people from the outside looking in, like, probably think, oh, I live in the seat of my fucking pants. You know what I mean? Like, some people don't think that the way that I think is correct. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Now, would you, would you care to um, uh, expand upon that that phrase? Which one? Living by the seat of your pants. Why, by the sea? Have you never heard that? No, I've I mean, heard it, but uh, I would like. I would it like. It just to... means like winging it. Like I'm winging it. Like <laughs> I have no fucking set plan. You know. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe I should, but it's just like I'm just taking it as it comes. You know. I mean, that's what you can do. That's what you got to do, right? Yeah. And so when I say living by the seat of my pants, whatever I mean. Basically, I'm winging it. Like, I'm dealing with shit as it happens. I'm just trying to, like, make the best of it and get through everything and just fucking, you know, wake up the next fucking day, you know? Yeah, it's like that, what's that door <laughs> song? Uh, take it easy, baby. Take it as it comes. Specialize in having fun. Right. I mean, and I used to get, you know, I do get fucking upset and I get stressed out and everything and, and stuff, but I I have to always, like, Come up, bring myself back from that, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, you can't, like, get wrapped up in that. No, I no. I used to be stressed out the way I am now because, you know, Don't when I was the a small single shit. mom with two babies, I was a stressed out fucking mess, dude. I was fucking, you know, stressed the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. Big time. <laughs> you know? Understood. <laughs> I mean, but now that I look back on it, you know, it was a struggle at the time, but I got through it. I survived, you know, yeah. knock on wood. Everything worked out. You know, I got through it. Right. And you know, wipe and your holes. What? <laughs> what flashed in there? And wipe your holes. Right, you know, I mean, it's so funny because this is all kind of, it's all along the same lines. This is kind of funny because I think I've told this story before, but right. that was the first time I told the story to Zach was yesterday, and it was when he was like two, like two and a half or something uh -huh. like that. And we lived at a resort where, there, you know, it was during the summer, he was born in May, Whatever, you know, this was like in July or something. And it was super hot out one day. And we lived at a resort, and there was like a main lodge, like, where we served food and drinks and stuff, you know? Right. Anyway, some girl walks in in a bikini. I'm holding them or something. Or he's, no, he, I wasn't even holding them. He was like standing up, you know? How old so, was he? So he was like two and a half. Three, okay. Three, two and a half or three years old. And he, she had a bikini on, and she was pretty well endowed, you know, in the uh -huh. chest area. And he goes, 
he points at her chest and he goes, Boobies! And <laughs> 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 Zach had never heard this story and he just fucking busted out laughing at that. I'm like, he's like, did I do that? I'm like, yes, you did. I'm like, you also street. <laughs> you also street. <laughs> he did. Same, about the same age he was. You know, and I'm sure it was because his diaper got wet or something, you know, so he probably took off his diaper, you know, that's all he had on in the summertime, right? So he's streaking. All of a sudden I hear, there's a naked baby! <laughs> it's like, oh, that's got to be my kid. <laughs> Someone else is, like, out there watching them, you know, but, you know, when he, he just, he would take off running, you know, that's Boobies! Like, well, that's good. He, he started <laughs> off. He started off in the right. Like you know, same weekend, right? This is the same weekend. All this happened. Yeah, he was just like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, it's it's funny the stuff you remember because oh, you think that you're going to forget stuff, but then like when they get a little bit older and you like have time to like fucking breathe, you, you remember you, you you have time to think back at all this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Like, oh, you know, you don't think about that, you know. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. But he just thought that was funny. I mean, he doesn't, I'm like, do you remember that? He's like, no. <laughs> I didn't think he did. He was like two and a half. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just, it, it's weird. It's like, how in the hell did he know to say that? Uh, probably, from, probably from his dad. Or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I was, like, mortified, you know, and it was, like, in the middle of the fucking bar and restaurant, there's a bunch of people in there, you know, oh, my God, it was so funny, though. <laughs> we both left our asses off. Oh, my yeah, God. And what did, what did the girl do? She just, like, it was a little kid. She just, like, she was cool, and the, you know what I mean? Everyone kind of laughed about it, because it's here as a two-and-a-half-year-old kid over there. Yeah. You know, it was just like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was just like... No, it was funny. I mean, it was uh, hilarious. Oh, that's I mean, great. That's great shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget that one. That's one of the ones you never forget. You no. Know? Yeah. There's like yeah. certain moments in time where it's like, yeah, okay. You know. Right. Good kid. Like that's right. <laughs> something like to tell a story at his, their, his wedding or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Was, oh, was, I, I, absolutely. You know. Embarrass him at the wedding. That's good. Yeah, that would be a good story. But you know what? They would expect that from me. Yeah. It, well, they would expect that from me. So. Sure. <laughs> anyway, I mean, just you, you, it just goes by like a blur. Now oh, they're going to graduate. God. They're almost 18. They're going to be 18 before they graduate, actually. Yeah, and I bet now they they look around and they say, boobies! <laughs> no, yeah, they do, but not all like that. They don't <laughs> point and go, oh, boobies! <laughs> yeah, no, they've come, they, they've matured uh, now. Yeah. It's funny. But, oh my God, it's just, it's like, oh my God. Yep. It, 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 uh, what? I just say, yep. <laughs> yep. Oh my yeah, god. Great. Such hilarious moments. <laughs> cool. Well, uh um um What do they got? A month and a half? When when do they graduate? Shit. May thirty first is the graduation date. Yeah, a little a little over a little over a the- oh. little over a month and a half and they'll be moving on. <laughs> Gonna, it's gonna go by really quick, and it's gonna—they're gonna be graduated. Yay! No, Wana Taco. It had—I had to tell them exactly how it happened, you know, because <laughs> it, it had to be told that way. <laughs> uh, the girl should have given him a little motorboat action there. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god! It, oh my god! It was <laughs> hilarious. Like everyone else but me. Like, I was, like, mortified. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. I couldn't believe you said that, you know. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's like, uh, everyone else is laughing their ass off. You know, I'm just like, oh, my fucking God. Yeah. Freaking hilarious. Yep, boobs no, all the world. No, good. 
slash save the boobies. You know, Boob. we need them. Boobs rule the world. They do, pretty much. I mean, if you if you really think about it, they do. They do. But, you know, <laughs> you need that colostrum. Colostrum. The, the first three weeks after you're born, all babies should be fed for at least three weeks after they're born. Because you need that colostrum. At least. Just, you need that. And okay. then you need the breast milk after that. But the most important thing is to get the colostrum. Which is a like in like nutrient dense freaking breast milk like a, that half that the mother produces when the babies are first born. And it, if you at least do that, then you're doing your kid a favor. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Sure. Yeah. So that's natural. Like Grandma Mary talks about it all the time. You guys all mostly a lot of people listen in here listen to Grandma Mary too, and. She's constantly talking about natural remedies and natural things and natural, you know. Right. Mother Nature has provided us with the things we need. And I believe in that, too. And, and the boobies are as natural as you can get. From, what? I said and boobies are as natural as you can get. Yes, they are. And breastfeeding. I mean, it's, it's how mammals are. Humans are mammals. I think sometimes human 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 beings forget that we're a mammal. We're just like a fucking platypus. You're a monkey. Right. We're just like a fucking monkey. <laughs> we're we're a mammal. A whale is a mammal. That's right. Well you don't think about whales being a mammal. A whale is a freaking mammal. Yes, I learned they are. that when I was in fucking elementary school. A bat is a mammal. Yeah. A bat is a mammal. Of course, of course. A whale is a mammal. Of course, not all people are mammals. The biggest thing in the world, mammal in the world, and the smallest mammal in the world, <laughs> humans are in that same genre, genome, whatever they fucking call it, subspecies, not even a subspecies. Mammal is a species. Right. Right. So what were you going to say, Rem? I said not all people are mammals. Well, how do you prove what? Well, what do you I mean, mean, you look at somebody like uh, like Hillary. She she's obviously a reptilian. Well, obviously. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> George Soros reptilian. Hey, I I can see it. Rumsfeld to Dick, me. Dick Cheney. I can see, see lizard on him all the way all day long. Cheney's a cyborg. Well, fuck yeah. I agree with you. I'm not, yeah. No, some that dwell among us are not mammals. They're right. They're not human meat. Therefore, they're not mammals. Exactly. They are, other, like, even, like, lizards are not, a, they're not a mammal. Lizard's not a mammal. No, it's a, it's a reptile. <laughs> a lizard is not a mammal. Um, exactly. Like, Alligators, they're a, they're a reptile, right? They're amphibious, yeah, but yeah. Oh, amphibian, yeah. They're a subspecies. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long time since I've taken these classes, all right? Classes? Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, in high school biology, you're supposed to learn about all the genomes and something, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, wait. Rob Works has a link for us here. Since we no, mentioned, oh, since we we mentioned the psycho bitch. I, I, okay. Well, I, I since Hillary I mentioned Clinton, her. White witch. That's what I call it. Hillary know. Clinton visits <laughs> witch's coven in Manhattan. Imagine that. She fits right in. April third. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> she's all. She's. She is a fucking witch. She's a fucking evil fucking April, <laughs> April third. So so three days ago, Clinton visited <laughs> the wing, an elite you know woman's it. elite woman club in Manhattan. Um, she has not fooled me. She hasn't fooled me for like a 30 years. <laughs> on, on, on its website, The Wing describes itself as a network of co-working and community spaces designed for women. The Wing's mission is professional, civic, social, and economic advancement of women through community 
We believe oh my God. that act of coming together as women creates new opportunities, ideas, and conversations that will lead to greater mobility and prosperity of womankind. Uh, no, she's not a witch, though. She, if she's a witch, she's like a lizard witch. The wing she e be a good witch. The wing uh, is elitist because it's pricey and all access membership is twenty seven hundred dollars a year. Well, that's not really too elitist, but it's 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 high enough. Uh the club is also rabidly anti men and publishes a magazine titled No Man's Land. But on the oh. on the club's Instagram <laughs> account on, on the club's Instagram account, the wing identifies itself as something more than just a feminist club, but shit. as a witch's coven. <laughs> oh my God, that Un can't be true. Unsurprisingly, it's not a witch's coven. It's a freaking. They call it something else, but the media makes it be like that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So unsurprisingly, they are pro gun control. Uh, the Wings Instagram is full of re references to Wings? vamp. That's what the name is, Wings. The Wing. Oh my God! Oh so, my God! So their, their their Instagram account is apparently full of references to vampirism, and oh, nice, yeah, <laughs> and no, witchcraft, vampirism, witchcraft, and Satanism. Might not even be people. So the, the Wings co <laughs> the Wings co founder is Audrey Gelman who was, in 2008, Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign press aide. Gelman is a childhood friend of Lena Dunham, who is the ex-girlfriend of Terry Richardson, the pornographic fashion celebrity photographer, oh, who, who once depicted himself copulating with a sheep, and is accused oh, of... Oh, lovely. <laughs> yes, accused, these are not people. They're not people, they're not people, they're like aliens... The, I mean, it's like lizard geno, lizard genealogy. Oh God! Genealogy, lizard DNA. So yeah, they're weird. They're <laughs> uh, not. They're not a human. They're not a mammal. The the okay. woman Gelman, her her self description on her Twitter page is, I'm like any any other modern woman trying to have it all. I just wish I had more time to seek out the dark voice forces, and join their hellish crusade. <laughs> Nice. I love the she, I love the terminology. And she does self, she saved. does she does self identify as a Satanist. Okay, well there you go. And she is the one that Hillary has chosen to hang out with. Nice. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> Does this surprise you? Not in the slightest. <laughs> <Me either. laughs> Thanks for that, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. We do. We pretty much do that. Oh, I mean, like, you know, it's good to like, you know. Okay, we're, we're gonna hit some more jams oh. here. <laughs> Let's do that, and uh, we'll oh, be back. Boy. This is a freaky Friday. <laughs> On the Freaker's Ball. It is a Freaky Friday, and it is the Freaker's Ball, and we are Grimnir and Moose Girl, and this is Justin Johnson. <laughs> According to the sky score, just by reporting the case. In which case, fuck it. If I'm going down, I'm going down in style. He skies like the noise of Freuster. Eve of our fucking springtime for Hitler. That's right, look, Tim, this is me miming being a Nazi fucking the Von Traps. Fucking grow up, you stupid authoritarian, humorless, tyrannical cunt. <laughs> That's right, fucking grow up, you humorless, whatever he said, tyrannical cunts. <laughs> All right, Grammy, Grammy, Grammy Berry posted that video earlier today. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> it was great. And it's talking about this stupid idiot case over there right. in Scotland where they're right. they're they're they right. convicted like this guy of, of hate speech for, for having his stupid his little pug dog uh, you know, know. do the Nazi salute <laughs> and making fun of him. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Come <laughs> on, really? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, before that, we had Led Zeppelin with the Immigrant Song, and we kicked it off with Justin Johnson, Got the Chicken in uh, the Tennessee Hills Country Blues there. Oh 
Yeah, I, I tell you, man, <laughs> if they can convict people for telling jokes like that, and, and I know Scotland's kind of fucked it's up. ridiculous. Uh, but, like, come <laughs> on, people. Get a fucking grip. Oh man! Oh, <laughs> I'll put that link. You guys can share that that video around because I'm looking at it. It's only got 53 views on it, and, and, I, and, I, and I'm not really sure I understand how come that that could be the case on that. But uh, yeah, take, take that take that video and share it out there. Share it around. Yeah, sure. I mean that that's that, that's funny, funny stuff. I mean it, it's serious. It points off the fucking ludicrous shit. It all it's, it's, it. it's serious, but it but it's it's still it's hilarious, and and it, it, it is, is it is it's yeah. a great rant. Um, so, <laughs> my God, oh. so uh, I, it's, it's unbelievable. This, this is the level of uh, right. This is the insanity. This, this is where, where the these devil. these crazy people are going to. Yeah, you right. know. The, the grasping at straws. That's my my take on it. Yeah, they're, so. not, they're trying to get every little thing that you do. This is like the Third Reich. This is actually like pre-Third Reich when they were like starting to weed out and starting to develop their plan. You know what I mean? Uh, right, right, exactly. I mean, I mean this and... is exactly how it, it went down. I mean, do your research about how the fucking Third Reich came to be. If, I mean, I mean yeah. It's the same shit. It's the same tactics. It hasn't changed. Their, their playbook hasn't changed. Technology may have changed. If you were, playbook has not. If you were in Nazi Germany, I could see being arrested and convicted over something like that. Definitely. Definitely. But that Definitely. was Scotland. <laughs> we've been saying this for so long. Eight years we've been saying this. Because like... as Jim pointed out earlier, we've been doing the figures ball for about eight years or more. Yeah. We don't know exactly, but we're, we're, we're saying eight years. And that's a long fucking time. That's almost a fucking decade. We've been saying the same thing for almost a decade. Exactly. So, you know, there you go. I mean, oh, yes. we're living in it now. Like, when we first started, we talked about, oh, when is, when we get there? When is, it, and, uh, even back then we weren't even saying when, we were saying, we're in it. We're in it. Yeah, we're in it. We're in it. We've been in it. <laughs> no. Stupid. I mean, Grim and I did a freaking uh, Russell Means uh, telephone broadcast, like a 24 hour thing. Yeah. To be, you know, to yeah, be it was me and you and uh, Gary L, Gigi's Boo. Yeah. Uh, we had some other people calling in and people making donations, and we sent money over there to, to the Russell Means yep. family trying to, you know, help them out. And, um, uh, I forget what we raised, but we we, we 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 raised a pretty good amount for that for Russell. We did, and they responded and everything, and thank you. Yeah, You're, yeah, they they responded and they appreciated it. And the reason we did that is because Russell Mean was a very smart person, very wise, very wise, very wise, and he was a Native American, and you know um, that's beside the point, really. But he had grown up in reservations, in the reservation system, the, the United States Reserva Indian Reservation System. And he had actually gone to boarding school, one of those boarding schools. That they, they would take the kids away from their families, away from their traditional ways, because some of them were clinging to the traditional way. Like Christianity came in. You know when that was you know, that we did they that? Wanted to be, they wanted to turn all the Native Americans into Christians, right? You, you know when that? You know when we did that? Tell us on. When? It was August twentieth through the twenty first, two thousand eleven. Wow. So a little, wow. uh, almost eight years. Not quite eight years. Wow. But, uh, we, I still have the page. Oh. I still have the page up on RLM. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. But that was a good show. I mean, so much good stuff was said, and that was just a really, I love that that we did that. That was just amazing to me that we did yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I mean, that was awesome. You know, I mean, if you have never seen that, his his um, videos, Welcome to the Reservation, definitely check those out if you can. Because they're still, they still apply today. I mean. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. They, they, 
there's no doubt. I mean, this has been going on for a long time. I mean, <laughs> people want to think that we're you. You want to be like in the like, you know, have rose colored colored glasses and think, oh, we're not in it right now. But yeah. you know that you're in it. You know that you are. Sure. You know your privacy is not is compromised. You know that. Compromised, gone. <laughs> right, right. No, yes, it's gone. Yeah. Emails, anything you do on the internet is tracked. Anything everything. You do, everything, anything. You go to the grocery store, you go to the gas station. This is a security camera. The grocery store, security cameras. Yep. Everything you do. Everything everywhere. Started. Yep. What's that movie, Grim, again? I, I always forget the name of it. What's it about? The one where they have the billboards, where they put the glasses on. And they oh, the oh, they live. They live. They live. They live. If you don't believe this? Watch that movie. Now, now you know, you know what tripped me out last week. I watched a video of um, the hell's the guy's name? Okay, his name ain't keeping my mind right now. The the guy that wrote right. and and produced and directed that movie. Um, what the hell's that guy's name? It's all right. Just anyway, just he up. was he was talking about that movie. They live, and and right. uh, unbelievably. Well, or well, maybe not so unbelievably, being a Hollywood type, is he thinks government's a good thing. He's in full support of government, and 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 it, and it really blew my mind that there he was talking about that. I, I mean, I've liked so many of his movies, and uh, well, I can't I remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> He'll figure. He'll come, come to be during the middle of something else, and I'll forget right. it. Right. He'll yeah. be like, oh yeah. And then oh, I forget. Yeah. It, I, it, it happens to me too. I, I know it's it's a, a bit getting old. It's a thing. It's a thing. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm watching this and and he and, and he's like, you know, some people think that we should get rid of government. No, 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 that's definitely not the answer. And I'm like, no, no, no come on, man, you're you're wrong. You're come wrong on, on that. Right. Yeah. But he made this movie pointing out all the nastiness that was going on in the media and the government. Right. So what side are you on, dude? Well, he. <laughs> He was pointing it out because I think at the time uh, Reagan Re Reagan was in office. Okay. And and yeah. he hated Reagan. Like in the eighties. Yeah, in the eighties, and he hated Reagan, yeah. and then he hated Bush one, of course. Of course. And then and then when Clinton got there, I guess everything was good. Uh, uh, oh I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Looks like there's any difference. But but yeah. I, but I, but I think he made that that video talking about they live in during the Obama years. Right. No, that <laughs> that movie. If you guys have not seen that, you know, and this is what, what kills me about a lot, a lot, you know, it just, it confuses me, that kills me. Um, it's like, why don't people just oh, John watch Carpenter. these videos? <laughs> like, a, when I first got involved in how I think who... who that's, a, that's his name, John Carpenter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, he, he writes books, too. He's an author. Oh, he, he writes music. He's, he's a very talented guy. Oh, very, very, yes. Definitely check that movie out. Um, they live. You guys will, you know, it, 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 you can't rely on information from outside. This is my best advice to anybody, is like, make your own decision. Like, the government wants you to make, wants, wants to make the, their, your decisions for you. They do not have that why do they have that right? Why would you let them do that? I don't know. But anyway, there's the video um, of him Sorry. talking about it. Uh, for anybody that wants to watch that. Um, and it was not what yeah. I expected for him to be uh, about that. <laughs> really? and, and, but in that, he also points out the fact that uh, that, that one line, uh, I came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Yeah. That that was a Roddy Piper original line. He he came up with that himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's cool. R Rowdy Roddy. <laughs> uh, the wrestler, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's the star. He's the star of the movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would say definitely check that movie out. He's here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Again, I mean, anybody <laughs> should do their own research. Do not let, do not let the media... Or the government, or your parents, or anybody, make decisions for you. No, don't don't let them do think it. Think for yourself. They want you to think like they do. 
So why, I mean, come on, really? I mean, yep. they, they think that you can't do that. They think that you're not capable. They think that you're dumb. Exactly. They're smarter than you. And uh, uh, they're wrong. And you need to, it, 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 uh, I'm not going to say you need, but everybody should think for themselves. Make your own decisions. Do not be influenced by things that don't ring true to you or, you know, goes against your gut instinct, whatever, you know. You guys know, you know. <laughs> Go Goober. I mean, I'm preaching the choir here, so whatever. But. Go Goober in the chat here says, not only do they live, but they rigged it now for the Titanic to sink. Well, yeah. Well, they they, they, they rigged the original Titanic to sink. That yeah, that that was a that was a planned event there to have that Titanic sink and, and, with know, the with those we, people we, that were on it. Right. We've been doing Freakers Ball for about eight years, and like in our second year. I think, or maybe our first year, I brought up the fact that this is this is the Titanic, and it's already sinking. We've already determined that it was sinking eight years ago. Right. So, but it, but like I know. said, the the original Titanic was was also rigged to sink. Uh, yes. that, that was a planned event to get rid of a yes. certain group of banksters. Um, I mean, there was a lot of high influence people on there. If you oh, guys yeah. don't know the story. Look up the passenger list of the fucking. Titanic, and That's you will right. see why they wanted to sink that bitch. Because John Astor died. John yep. Astor. What's that? What, what's that? A-S-T-O-R. Wait, what's that you say? I have come here John to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. John Astor. <laughs> I was playing something, but you talked over it. So. <laughs> uh, oh, go ahead, Grim. Play it again. I'm sorry. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> Thank you, Roddy. I can't hear that. I can't. I couldn't hear that. Oh, okay. So that's why I talked over it. I, I did not know you were playing something. That was only a little nine-second clip that uh, Frumpy oh, threw in there. Sorry. I was like, sorry about that. But sorry. Um, anyway, what was it? It was John. It was, it was Roddy Roddy Piper from They Live saying, oh, okay, "I have okay. come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, oh, and I'm nice. all okay. out yeah, of bubble I gum." Hear it. I'm sorry for that. That's, That's why all I right. Talk over him, people. <laughs> right. I don't purposely talk over him. I try not to. I know we have times when we do, but <laughs> we try to limit that. But anyway. Yeah, I was hoping you would clue in with, but anyway, that's all right. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm kind of random. Yes. Goobs. And there was, it was a planned thing. Like, they purposely towed up this fucking boat that it was the best and it was unsinkable. They told people it was fucking unsinkable. You know? Yeah. Before they fucking, you know, they told people, they said, this boat's unsinkable. Exactly. And so they got all these rich fucking bastards on there. <laughs> and then they, that was the main deck, though. It was not only a fucking liner for the rich people, it was for everybody because it was huge. And so in the lower decks, they had all the poor people. Oh, slag. Like if, if you were like a fucking immigrant, you wanted to go back to the home country or whatever, you had to be on the lower deck in the fucking cargo hold of this huge, massive thing, you know, <laughs> that was built for rich people, but they allowed the peasants or whatever, to buy tickets for the cargo hold, right? Exactly. Yeah, and they didn't have enough lifeboats for the amount of people that were on that bitch. There's a reason for that, too, because it was unsinkable. You don't need a lot of lifeboats for an unsinkable boat, do you? Come uh, on. No. Any boat, any boat is sinkable. Any boat. Sure. Hell, if you, if you ask that one congressman, the whole island's going to tip over. <laughs> oh my god holy shit right I mean well, it could happen though I mean alright <laughs> it could you know, no it I couldn't mean, no it couldn't it? No, 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 no 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 oh my god uh, anyway I came, I, came, I came across this article the other day oh and I, I came across this article the other day and I have a couple questions here okay no, I shared this in the chat. Grammy talked about it on a show on Wednesday, and and I, and I still want to talk about it because okay. I have questions. 
This is on High Times Magazine, HighTimes.com. Sonic is begging customers to stop smoking weed in the drive-thru. Oh, my fucking God. Good luck with that, bitches. <laughs> now, my, my, well, my first question before I get to the article. Sonic. <laughs> my, my, my first question before I get to the article here is, who goes through the drive-thru? Every time I go to Sonic, I pull into right. the little thing, and I have the little girl run out there and, and bring me my food. Well, they're probably talking about, you know, people are smoking in their car while they're waiting for their food and shit. No, you know? it's, it's in the drive-thru, in the drive-thru. Oh, okay, all right. Because they do have a drive-thru, but they also have yeah, those places right. where you park and, and, and you... Right, right, right. Yeah, right. And, I, and, I, and I like to see the little girl run out there and bring my food. I <laughs> cannot survive in the town, but let's be quite the point. Okay. All right, so this week, the fast food restaurant Sonic is begging customers to stop smoking weed in the drive-thru. <laughs> Good luck with that. This comes after the Mississippi Sonic reported an epidemic of stone drivers. An epidemic? Really? They Here, call it an epidemic? Here's the story. The, the restaurant in question, a Mississippi-based Sonic, reported that two weeks ago a drive through customer rolled down their window to order food and blew smoke into the employee's face. This was the last straw for Sonic employees <laughs> sick of the stoned clientele. Shortly after the smoke blowing incident, manager Yasmin Freeman, I didn't know I had a sister, uh, put a sign in the window of the Gulfport restaurant. According to the Sun Herald, it reads, if you are smoking weed in the drive-thru, you will not be served. Please show some common courtesy <laughs> and, and smoke and air out before so, pulling up. Smoke, cigarette smoke and in my face says, and, says, yeah. be, be, and smoke and air out before pulling up to order. So, but my question here is is on, on this part, besides not uh, who goes through the drive-thru, but if you do, if you are blowing smoke into somebody's face and it is <laughs> unwanted, that's assault. You're, you're that, a dick. No, yeah, it's not only a dick. A, a dick, but that is actually uh, assault on that person. Assault. Right. Um, now, if they ask for it, Feel free. Right. Right. <laughs> if they say, hey, you spoke at some in there, blow some my way, then that's cool. That's good. Right. <laughs> but, but, but you don't do that to people that, that don't want it. Um, Ask any drunk, children. Ask any drunk. Anyway, Freeman explains that the smoke-blowing incident prompted the sign installation, but this has been a long-time problem. Employees were exasperated by the sheer volume, oh, yeah. oh, the sheer terrifying. volume of marijuana they were smelling. What do they do when a customer pulls up totally annihilated and drunk, obviously intoxicated, and they're driving a vehicle? <laughs> the sheer, that, do they have any alarm when that, that happens? I mean, come on. The sheer volume. When they got fucking drunk, pull up their drive, you know, the driveway. <laughs> oh, this guy's obviously intoxicated. Probably should not be driving. Maybe I should call 911 and report him for DWI. Because <laughs> he's fucking wasted on alcohol. Anyway, you can read the article for yourself. It goes through a, a, a brief history of marijuana and the drive through um, The final hit, uh, Sonic begging them to stop smoking there. Um, it says, one thing's for sure. If Sonic restaurants are going to start, start discriminating against the stoned, they're going to cut into their own margins. McDonald's and Taco Bell are already more popular with weed smokers. <laughs> and I don't know if I mean, that I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> but you uh, but you don't but, but you don't do that you don't do that to somebody that doesn't that has not asked to have weed blown at them because that that right no that that could be classified as assault yeah you don't say, want that you don't want the cops after you or nothing. You don't want to be dumb. Don't and, be you, dumb. and you ruin it for the rest of the stoners right. that want to get stoned in the drive thru Like don't be a dumbass. Fucker. Yeah. That's a lot, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. That, that's They're just fucking it up for me. Making me that, go sad again. That, that's just messed it's up possible. stuff. Like I told Zach today, I'm like, it's not a drug, it's a fucking plant. You, it's not a drug, it's a plant. That's just Which messed up stuff. Which is very true, because it, to, if it, what you do is you plant a seed, and it grows, and it, like the, it, it grows these buds that are like flowers, right? And that's what the that's the weed. That's the weed. And so it's a plant. 
You right, don't do point. anything to it. You don't process it. I mean, you obviously have to let it dry out a little bit before you can smoke it. But it's not <laughs> processed. It's not manufactured. It's not fake. Okay. Well, so another another article. Ground. Another article from high yeah. from High Times about weed. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> from High Times, no yeah. way. Yeah. No way. Yeah, and I know, I know, shocking. Lawmaker cites satirical article to argue against legalizing cannabis. In Louisiana, in Louisiana, also in Louisiana. Oh, that was Mississippi, this is Louisiana. A lawmaker cites a satirical article, article to argue against legalizing cannabis. Yes, we are, in fact, serious. So, uh, I, I don't want to go through the article to you. I just want to go to, to the bits here um, where, where what she was citing from this article. <laughs> Representative Dodie Horton does not support increasing access to medical marijuana, despite petitions for parents. To argue against passing this legalization, Republican Dodie Horton mentioned in an article that originally appeared in The Daily Current, which is a humor site, the article jokes about the deadly consequences of the legalization in Colorado. The article reads, Colorado is reconsidering its decision to legalize recreational pot following the deaths of dozens due to marijuana overdoses. The article goes so far as to quote of no, this is a big article. I'm I already told you that. Yeah, I already told you that. The article goes on goes so far as to quote a fictional doctor saying Right, right. It's complete fictional. It's complete chaos here, says Doctor Jack Shepard, chief of oh. Chief of Surgery at Saint Luke's <laughs> Medical Center in Denver. I've put five college students in body bags since breakfast. Don't read this no more. And there are more arriving every minute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read this anymore. This is bullshit. Well, of course it's bullshit. That's the whole point. There's this woman, this legislature, is using this fictional article, satirical article, to argue against legalizing weed. Which is illegal. From a humor site. In the U.S. justice system. <laughs> right. right, you can't use fake shit. Yeah. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> they do it all I the know, time. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is, uh, that's why I said, I got pissed off, dude. I'm sorry. I can't so, quite read this. This is, no. This is, no. Not but, uh, but, but it's so absurd. And, and then she used, took it there into the, her Congress meeting, whatever, legislative meeting. Fuck her. Fuck to, to argue against weed Ugh. over a joke. Over a joke. What? Because <laughs> she took it serious. She thought it was real. Oh my fucking god! Uh, all right, we're gonna I play get, some. I get really pissed off. Ask my kids. I get really pissed off. I know. I know you do, I'm Moose. Like, I know you do. I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I'm sorry. I just, I react because it just fucking irks me so bad that I can't help it. All right, we're gonna play some more music right, right here. Okay. We're, we got some tunes lined up. I get pissed. I, you know, I, I hate fucking bullshit. I fucking hate it. <laughs> You were, you, but you were missing my point. That's all right. Uh, we're we're going to kick it off with uh, a little rockabilly via the cellmates here. <laughs> Oh, it's a great video. <laughs> Godsmack doing a little comedy bit there. Uh, as the making of their uh, video, Bulletproof, uh, <laughs> making fun of themselves, making fun of their video. Uh, anyway, that's off of their upcoming or their brand new album. I think it's already out. Maybe it comes out this month sometime. Uh, it, the new album is called When Legends Rise. The song is Bulletproof. That, that's just funny stuff. Anyway, before that, we had the Dropkick Murphys with I'm Shippin' Up to Boston. And we kicked it off with the Cellmates doing Blue Moon of Kentucky. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, that's funny, funny, funny stuff. Anyway. <laughs> 
those of you that didn't catch all the uh, little jokes and stuff in there, you might want to go check it out there on the YouTube's there on the Godsmack Bulletproof Director's Cut, and uh, you'll, you'll get you'll get all the rest. You'll you'll pick it all up. It'll be uh, you'll enjoy it. I say, I think, I think I say, I say, I think, boy, hey boy. <laughs> Or am I talking to myself? Are you out there, Moose Girl? I'm out of here. Oh, all right. <laughs> I am out fucking here. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is what it is. The fucking world is. It what is what it is. What it, is. Is. It, 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 it be like. It is what it be. What it be. <laughs> what it be, brother. <laughs> you know. Oh, man. I like, I like, <laughs> never mind. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah. I'm just crazy. Is it a fucking full moon? It is not a full moon. It is, uh... <laughs> it's in between. That's what I get, that. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's quarter moon. It's quarter moon. Oh, okay. That explains it, you know. So, you know... I mean, we're being... Rain was shit. What can we do? We can't do. Yeah, you know what? We I, can I, do I, what we can I, do. We're being sprayed with toxic shit. You know, I mean. You know, I, I was thinking. I was thinking today. I miss Solomon. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, I, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I'm not ever. We're, we're never going to hear from him again, considering the last call I got from him. Uh, it sounded like he was. Uh, you know, he's. Not in the best situation there, but uh, yeah, you know his calls—they were—they were that was some great stuff back in yeah. back in those days and passing his information and. I mean, someone's gonna point this shit out, and it's only a smart person or someone that wants to think for themselves that will get it. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've been doing this show eight years. I don't know how many people or anybody. We haven't done anything for anybody, really, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, if you if you listen to us and you enjoy us and everything, but you probably don't agree with us, probably. I mean, be, be honest with yourself. You know, be honest with yourself. That's my biggest point, is be honest with yourself. And you know when you're not being honest with yourself. We all do. We all know that. Yeah. And um, that's the biggest thing I had to fucking learn how to do. Really, um, is to be honest with myself, and it's hard. I have to work on it every fucking day. Right. You you you, you have to work on it every fucking day. I mean, you, you just don't, don't go. Oh, I'm going to be honest with myself. And See, bam, Vinny, 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 Mrs. Solomon too. What? Said Vinny, Mrs. Solomon too. Yeah, I mean, it's all about. It's up to you. It's up to you as an individual. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would not let anyone make decisions for me. I would not, I never would have been a good candidate for the military. Ever. Ever. <laughs> because I've always been so independent and so like, you're not going to tell me what the fuck to do. You're not going to tell me what the fuck to think. No. I'm going to think for my fucking self, bitch. That's damn right. You know? Yeah. I mean, come on. You know, open your eyes, look around. Uh, you, you can't, can't, you can't, you can't, can't have vision. What? Well, I got, I got a straight flash out here. Flash, you, you cannot compare Solomon with Hans. No way. <laughs> One guy no told way. the truth and, and got to the core and the root of, of many issues. And the other guy just makes crap up as he goes along. And you know what? I do not, <laughs> I do I do not have groupies that I know of. If I do, I would hope that all my groupies would like message me or something. <laughs> you know, like, tell me that you're my groupie, because I have no idea that you exist. Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm your, you know, I'm, I'm, I have, I'm, I your, I'm your groupie, groupie, Moose. I'm your groupie. Well, I don't, like, that's you, Grim. You're my groupie. <laughs> it's just a cult. You know, we are funny. See, we're friends. See, I, mean, see I, I don't count. It counts, but no, at a different level. <laughs> yeah, you're not a groupie. You're not a groupie. You're a bubble groupie. I mean, come on. Really. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, all right, tell me what you think of this. Elon Musk. You know who Elon Musk is? Yes, I know who that fucker is. All right. 
Rich bitch, they got a bunch of NASA to donate a bunch of money to him. Yeah, well, well he can make rockets and they oh, can't. Oh, NASA fucking donated a bunch of money to that bitch. Oh, he can make okay. rockets and they can't. I know. He's better at it. Yeah, much better. Yeah, much better. So he he's better. So, land. so he what? He lands like at a certain point. And he doesn't like put waste in the ocean and stuff. Like, so, what, really so, cool. what, so what do you think about this? Okay. Elon Musk offers to buy and then delete Facebook. Hey, you know what? I'm all for that. <laughs> I'm all for it, too. I'm sick of fucking Facebook. I'm sorry. I like, I mean, I use it, but you know what? I am done with it. I'm so sick of it. Like, it's, I'm done. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad. It's weird. It's anyway, this, this is this is this is from a week ago, but it says earlier this week Elon Musk made global headlines when he deleted the official SpaceX and Tesla pages from Facebook. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I saw that. Musk, <laughs> Musk made certain to clarify he didn't make the decision for political reasons, but rather because Facebook gives him the willies. <laughs> What? Did he actually say that? He said that. He said the that. Willies. The willies. That's what? <laughs> so today, which is oh uh, today, which was a week ago, Musk announced that he had reached out to Facebook and offered to buy every share of the company, effectively effectively making See, him I don't trust this motherfucker. Effectively making him the, the, the Elon Musk, <laughs> their government motherfuckers. This is all fucking ploy. So they already was, said, even Rome says, it's a data mining tool. Right, well, it's he's going to... He's gonna, the <laughs> cops are using the bus people. I mean, come yeah, on. Right, no, but he offered to buy every single share of Facebook, making him the sole owner of the it's social so media much, platform. It doesn't impress me. No, no, but Musk was speaking of uh, to a gathering at SpaceX... X and Tesla investors, he told the group, even though he has deep misgivings about the site, he'd do a humanity a favor and buy it. He says, I've got yeah, some... Yeah, delete it. it right. Great. He says, I've got, I've got some... <laughs> because we got me or some other thing lined up. Listen. The same fucking thing. He says, I've got some cash to... Boy. No. <laughs> well, that's it. Boy. Right. He says, I've got some cash to burn, so if yeah, Zuck wants to... If Zuck wants you know to what? make I a deal... I had some motherfucking cash to burn, too, motherfucking bitch. Yeah. What? Is that cash you got to burn FRN? Not crap. All right. Not crap your FRN. Well, just Fuck listen. You. Just listen. All right. He says, I've got some... He's got. I've got some cash to burn. So if Zuck wants to make a deal, he knows. He, he knows where to find me. Musk told investors, "I'd make him a fair offer." Musk then showed a PowerPoint presentation that detailed the great lengths of his plan for Facebook would be. You know, when when I told some close confidence about this idea of mine, they all wanted to know what I'd do with Facebook. Musk explained, and as much as I know, people uh, people like to. Uh, use it as the Internet's premier ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend stalking platform, I think they have a much better solution. And I mean, for better better for the species, if not for our entire planet. Uh, Musk showed investors the room in an, an animated video that detailed his plans for Facebook. It showed SpaceX Falcon taking off a uh, rocket, blasting off into the sky. At one point, the two solid bo boosters fall off and glide to a precise path down to the landing pad. Both rockets land perfectly in square. One uh, ends up resting on a giant red but button labeled delete. <laughs> I'm still not buying it. I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. <laughs> cheers, cheers erupted from the room. Tra chance of fuck Zuck, fuck Zuck, fuck Zuck reverberated oh, yeah, <laughs> throughout the building, growing so loud it drowned out some of the ocean's waves at every beach on the planet. Musk stepped away from the <laughs> platform <laughs> with his arms raised in triumph. <laughs> so whether or not he would, and I, and I, I do, I do believe, him. I do believe he would delete it if he if he was. I, I agree, but then something else would start up. I mean, come on. I do believe if if he was actually able to buy it, if Zuck would sell it to him, he, he would, won't. They won't. He would delete it. 
<laughs> okay, I have to give her my Facebook tomorrow. Good. Fuck that. Fuck you know that. What? I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if I want to do a party message. I think I just want to be done with it completely. It's like, if I need to find out what shows are going on, I'll find out. I, I have other ways of researching. You know, oh, I, I I have to be done. I can't take it no more. It, it, it's it's conflicting. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of my Facebook page. I swear to God. Might as well. Might as well. I I said it like three years ago and I didn't do it. <laughs> I know. Well, you know you got. I know. I know. All right. How about this? What? Thousands of Google employees revolt, demand the company stop supporting the U.S. war machine. Good. More than 3,100 Google... It, if it's true, good. Well, it says, it says more than 3,100 Google employees are calling for the cancellation of a controversial drone program and saying they want out of the business of war. So I, that's I, a good I, thing. If I don't, this is true, that's a good thing. I don't know how many uh, employees Google has globally, but 3,100 employees begging the master to stop doing terrible, nasty stuff that Google does. Sorry, guys, it ain't going to happen. But uh, anyway, last no, month... No, it's not going to happen. Last month, a press leak revealed that Google has been working with the U.S. Department of Defense on a drone program called Project Maven, which is being developed to scan images in drone footage and identify targets, meaning you. Prior to it being reported on the news, this project was unknown to most Google employees, even those who were working on different aspects of the project. Yeah, they, they compartmentalize all that stuff so you don't never know what you're working on. The company was so secretive about the project, and they kept their employees so compartmentalized that thousands of talented engineers had no clue they were aiding a war effort. Now many of those employees are speaking out and demanding that the company cancel its work on the controversial program. This week, a letter was signed by over 3,100 Google employees addressed to Google CEO Sundar Pichai and stated that they did not want to be involved in the business of war. The letter ends by demanding that the company immediately cancel project project and also uh, draft, publicize, and enforce a clear policy stating that neither Google nor its contractors will ever, ever build warfare technology. And again, there's much more to the article. Yeah, I imagine they all will be fired, Hans. Um, I, <laughs> if not fired, they'll at least be minimized in some way. Um, it says, when the issue was raised last month, Google spokesman Diane Green assured the concerned employees that the technology will not operate or fly drones. It will not be used to launch weapons. Yeah, right, we believe that. Maybe it will just be launched to target the weapons. I, I, I don't know, but regardless of what they're going to do with it, uh, they're an evil, evil corporation. Um, yes. And and but I, and I wish these employees the best of luck. Uh, but getting Google to fuck them, they should just fucking quit. I mean, I mean, they're, they're they are part of the DOD. They're part of the CIA. They're they're they're, they're part of all all of the evilness that goes on. Yeah. And uh, yep. so uh, you know, good luck, employees. But uh, Hans don't believe that though. He doesn't think that's just evil. He thinks that's just necessary. Oh no, I know because because those evil brown people. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's all propaganda. You believe in propaganda? The fuck? I know, anyway. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, there will always be disgusting assholes to the shit work for to do the shit work yeah. for an idiot. Yes, there will be. And it's all about lies. That's why I say think for yourself. Do not let other people make decisions. Well, that, that's that's where all the money's at. You know, it's it's so <sighs> easy. It's so easy to take on those jobs, just like it's so easy to get, you know, those, those fancy little things in your house that spy on you. Um, what? Yeah, 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 you know, it's, if, if you go down the road of simplicity for yourself to make your life more comfortable and simple, all you're doing is helping these people out. Yeah. And, 
definitely. It's, it, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to go a different way. And, um, it is. It's hard. It, 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 you know, all because, like, me, especially, like, I've had kids, I've had raised kids, I've had all this fucking okay, pressure to do what everyone else is doing. And not... It's like, I, ask my kids what they think about me, about doing whatever else does. I'll just say, fuck what everybody else does. I don't give a fuck about everybody else. I give a fuck about me and you. Exactly. And that's it. And now, now I'm this... Like, uh, I don't give a fuck about other people. What? This, this next story, not necessarily about the things that Facebook and Google are doing, but it's something good that could be used for good and it's free. Okay. And it may be useful to your children. Berkeley offers its fastest growing course, Data Science, online for free. Wow. And I love data science. I'm a big database guy, as you know. And uh, the problem is getting a job using a data science degree it's probably going to land you doing some evil crap for some governmental agency. Right. Or a subcontractor thereof. But it's right. still great to know. And and they and, and let me tell you, anyway, this, this fastest growing course, Foundations of Data Science, is being offered for free online this spring for the first time through the campus's online education hub, edX. Data science is becoming important to more and more people because the world is increasingly data-driven. And not just science, but tech and the humanities, business and government. It says, you'll learn to program when studying data science, but not for the primary pur purpose of building apps or games, said the Berkeley science com computer science professor. Instead, we're going to use programming to understand the world around us. And I, I think it definitely applies to that. Um, Anyway, it's a free course, and, and it's coming up, and uh, I, it's probably not transferable, but but it would be a good foundation if either of your kids wanted to get into any kind of uh, computer science major type stuff. Um, from what I've heard from you, that's probably not the case, but um, either way, free course there. Uh, the link will be in the blog right. post so uh, for anybody that misses it, but... Uh, Databases are great. They're fun. They're, 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 they're bitching. You can do all kinds of great stuff, fun with stuff with them. And uh, the thing is, trying to uh, get a good data job as a database guy or a data analyst or whatever, and not right. being somehow hooked into uh, an evil government program. Uh, good luck. Yeah. But, but I mean, the ones I had were working for a medical device company. Um, so, so, I mean, there are, there are jobs out there. Uh, but but you're, they're not, they're going to pay much less uh, than than a government version of the same right, job or right, a government, right. government contractor version of the same job. Um. Oh oh oh! <laughs> Hans points out. No, this week it's the evil ba evil yellow bastards in Asia, not those evil brown people. Uh, okay. Yeah, get it right, buddy. <laughs> Don't be racist. Be racist right. <laughs> Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Yes, let's hear it. I need tunes. I'm fucking wigging out. K Kenny Wayne Shepherd doing Bob Dylan. Does that sound all right? Yeah, sounds all right. Everything is broken. with Guns, a classic that's uh, by Dana Lyons there. Before that, we had Cobra and the Lotus doing their song, Let Me Love You, in Japanese. Yes, the Japanese version uh, of that by Cobra, Cobra and the Lotus. And we kicked it off with Kitty Wayne Shepherd covering Bob Dylan's Everything is Broken. Yes, indeed. Yes, it is. Everything is fucking broken. Everything is freaking broken. 
and get used to it. Yeah, no, yeah, so certainly. We've been talking about it for a while. I mean, this is now, this is it. We're in it. We're in the shit. Yes, we are. We're <laughs> in it deep. Deep in the shit. Yeah, we're in the So anyway, shit. you know, that's all I got. I mean, like, we've been doing this, what, eight years? I'm ready to be done. Seriously, I'm not kidding, bro. I'm wait, ready wait, to be done. Wait. I'm ready to be done with this show. Because, you know what? No. That's not all i got to say, you know? Yeah, you know, there's always more and to I say. And I want a life. I mean, I don't get paid to do this gig. You know, I'm I'm not kidding here. I want to be done. Like, maybe two nights, two weekends a month. Really? You know, I mean, I, I'm done. It... Well, I say, I say you, you, just, you just want to hang on to that. that. But maybe, but you know what? It's like... I like to vent, and I like to, like, talk about shit that happens and everything, but right. it's like, you know, I mean, yeah, I get time off when I need it. I mean, like, if I got something going on, I don't have to do the show, you know, it's all good, but people get pissed off. It's like, what do you, you know mean? what? I have a wife. Oh, yeah, no. You know, yeah. I have a fucking wife here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to fucking, you know, I only get two days off a week. I get it. You no, know, I mean, it's like, you know, I don't get paid to this gig. I like it when in the winter or whatever when I have nothing going on. You know, but in the summertime, I got a lot of festivals and stuff going on. I want to do, you know. I know, I know. I don't want to fucking have to worry about it, you know, disappointing you or fucking not being <laughs> here. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let people down, because people are counting on us and stuff. It's like, you know, send me some fucking money. Oh, <laughs> you know? On, send yeah. me some fucking money to pay me for the fucking fees and everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they, we could, people, cover it. Fucking show. people cover us know. pretty good. People cover us pretty good. What? Call in. Offer something. Do Be something. I don't know. But it's like, I can't do it no more, hardly. You know, I, I'm, my kids are going to be graduating and stuff, and I'm going to be, like, wanting to get out and about and stuff. And Well, you know, I you won't. Well, that's the way it is. I'm sorry, but I'm not. You know? It's been, what, eight years? Yeah. How many, how, how many times have we had over 20 viewers on this show? I don't know. Not many. <laughs> Not but, me. That's all I'm saying. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't really care. It's for I me. don't either, but I don't, it's never been about viewers for me. It's, it's just been about, you know, being able to vent and talk about shit and just on a Friday night when I'm just sitting here, nothing better to do. But now I might have better stuff to do. All right, well, if you got better stuff to do, you got better stuff to do. Well, but my kids are fucking almost 18 and shit, you know? I, you know, I mean, I I've had to be here three times, you know, because I'm... Hang I'm, on to those, just, hang on to those thoughts for another time. You, yeah. I'm just putting it out there, Graham, because I'm thinking I know, about this, know, and it's like, you know what? I, I don't know. I know? don't know either. I mean, you've been, you've been, you've been pretty, pretty good trooper. Doing yeah. the show, so. Anyway, here's an article for you, interesting stuff. All right. 31 long-forgotten Native American medical cures that treat anything from flu to cancer. Yes. So I'm not going to go through the, the whole uh, um, narrative they have here. I'm just going to get right to some of the, the, the cures here. So uh, alfalfa relieves digestion. And it's aid to use blood aid an aid to blood clotting. Um, contemporary uses include uh, treatment of arthritis, bladder and kidney conditions, and bone strength, and enhancing the immune system. Uh, aloe, cactus-like plant, thick leaves can be squeezed to extrude a thick sap that can be used to treat burns, insect bites, and wounds. Aspen, the inner bark, or zellum. Is used to treat uh, in a tea to treat fever, coughs, and pains. Uh, contains sal salicin, uh, which is also found in willow trees, the foundation and ingredient for aspirin. Um, 
bee pollen. When, when mixed with food, it can boost energy, aid digestion, and enhance the immune system. If you're allergic to bee stings, you'll most likely be allergic to bee pollen as well. So stay away from that. Beeswax, used as a salve for burns and insect bites, including bee stings, uh, intended to be used externally only. Blackberry, the root bark, and leaves, when crushed and infused into a tea, are used to treat diarrhea, reduce inflammation, and sim stimulate the metabolism. As a gargle, it tends to treat sore throats, mouth ulcers, and inflammation of the gums. Blackberry, remember that one? Uh, black raspberry, the roots of this plant, are crushed and used as a tea or boiled and chewed to relieve coughs, diarrhea, and general intestinal stress. Uh, buckwheat. Uh, the seeds are used in soups and as a porridge to lower blood pressure and help with blood clotting and relieve diarrhea. Uh, but, but cayenne. Great stuff, cayenne. I love cayenne. The pods are used as a pain reliever when taken with food or drunk in a tea, also used as arthritis, digestive stress, da da da. Camel meal, the leaves are used, the leaves and flowers are used as a tea to treat intestinal problems and nausea. Those are the first ten. There's 31 of them. Read them for yourself. <laughs> right, that's what we've been saying for so long. It's like, do your own research. Yeah, yeah, no, you're an advocate. This is great. You know, it gets into echinacea yeah. and echinacea, eucalyptus, fennel. Don't leave it up to somebody else. Don't believe in that fucking shit that you don't believe in. It doesn't feel right. You know, I mean, come on. Ginger root, ginseng. So there's so many things. There's so, there's so many plants, right. be beneficial plants out there right. that, that are just good for you. Um, right. And um, so, so you there's that. Think for yourselves. Do not trust the Western pharmaceutical people. Do not trust Western medicine. I mean, come on, people. You have to be your own advocate. That's my biggest thing that I've said. I've said this before. She said it before. That's what. I, that, that's my point about. It's like I've said everything I can say. No, you haven't. There's you always know? more. But it's the same stuff over and over again. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it? Well, things change and there's new stories that pop up, but overall, it's the same shit. It's the same shit that applied fucking 200 years ago. All right. Well, tell me, tell me if you ever heard a story like this. All right. Shoppers shock as a cheeky seagull swoops down and steals a pack of bacon. <laughs> That's so surprising. Seagulls are fucking, they want food. Seagulls are brutal. If, if you've never lived in an area with seagulls and you don't know their behavior, this is, this is typical behavior for a seagull. <laughs> Apparently. Just saying. Woman, woman was loading groceries into her car. And that they, happens all the time. <laughs> I don't know if it happens. It <laughs> does. It does. <clears throat> all right, all right. So it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she, <laughs> Ashley Elkin of Elgin. Uh, Elgin, well, Illinois. Whatever was filmed in the bizarre <laughs> theft. A poor woman at the Asda Elgin, Elgin, as, as Elgin, as the Elgin, seagull goes go. off with her bacon. She was shooing it off her car just before. I had my phone out because it was pecking her uh, behind her car before. <laughs> but by the time this happened, it was hovering above her, and, and she turned Power, up with. That's what they do. They do that. Their trolley. Uh, some <laughs> some viewers saw the funny side because. Uh, one was saying, "Oh my God, I'm laughing so much. I'm I'm sorry, lady, but it's funny." <laughs> it is. It, it's funny. It would be. <laughs> other other viewers uh, dubbed the seagull issue a more serious issue. <laughs> the lady was a dumbass for you know not getting the bacon in the car fast enough. Audrey O'Neill replied, "They really need to do something. It's only going to get worse. Yeah, you got to ban seagulls." Uh Duh. Ban, ban, ban them seagulls. See, fucking, they're <laughs> brutal, dude. They're fucking in hat. If they want something, they're gonna get it. These are That's assault. Are. These, these are assault seagulls. <laughs> 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 That's 
so. Oh. All right. On that note, we got to do our last set here. Uh, that chair we have is tight. All right, this is the Mar Marcus. Oh, Mar Mar <laughs> the, no. Mar the Marcus King Band covering an Almond Brothers song, Hotlanta, with Warren Hayden sitting in. Yes, indeed. Christopher Amoroso there doing his version of Black Betty. Before that, for uh, Cowboy Tech and Hansel, Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Before that, Fantastic Negrito and Plastic Hamburgers, quite the tune. And we kicked it off there with a Marcus King Band with Mark Warren Hayden sitting in doing Hot Lana by the Almond Brothers. So uh, great, great songs across the board there. Oh, wait. Great songs all night. Yeah, that's what we do here. We do great songs. That's what we do. That's what we do every Yes, indeed. Great news. Great, that's great. That's what we do here. Fun, fun stories, fun music, and fun chat. And we Hey, what the hell, man? It's a good time to be had by all. It is a good time. It is. It is. It is. And uh, tomorrow you got another fun time at noon Eastern with Flash and Grammy sitting around the dork table having a good time chatting it up. And on Sunday, I'll be on doing the blues here at noon Eastern, and you all be sitting here in the chat, hopefully, uh, hopefully. Type, typing in some trivia answers. See if you see if you can wait. beat the Mighty Moose. She's pretty fast. I don't know. I am a fast typer. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I mean, I, I'm I've been typing for a long time, so you know it happens. Yeah, she's she's the natural born typist. I am and, a and then uh, immediately following my my blues show, there it comes on Hal Anthony at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific, behind the wood shed, opening up that big old can of whoop ass, and then 7 p.m. Eastern. Know what? what? I said you know it. You know it, and and at 7 p.m. Eastern. Gary Allen, Gigi's Boo, going down the road less traveled. Yeah. We'll be back again next Friday, hopefully. Uh, if we could talk Moose Girl. If we could talk Moose Girl in to stay in for another week. I don't know, man. I'm so <laughs> tired. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, y'all have a great right. weekend, and, uh, and, uh, that's it. Peace. That's it. Peace.